Oh my goodness. Do you see that full-on rainbow? Good morning. We are so happy that you're here. We vlog every day. And so if you enjoy this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. Um, that little rainbow couldn't be more perfect this morning. I am headed into Quest Diagnostics to do my last bit of blood work for the foreseeable future. Um, I did a panel regarding the chromosomes of the baby and we did the first part in the, tri the first trimester and now I have to do the second part now that we're almost at 20 weeks. Um, and so I'm just headed in early this morning to get that done. Evie, do you want to go see Padme and Aurora? Today's the day, the bright the sun is up. The time goes climb! <laughs> the sun is shining. Do you want to go? Do you want to go see your friends, Padme and Aurora? Yeah? Yeah. She knows. Yeah, she knows their names. Also, I don't know if I said it in the intro or not, but... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Seeing that rainbow was extra special today um, because tomorrow is Sweet Pea's due date and I was going to get blood work for our, our rainbow baby, James, and so that was pretty special. Um, and now we're going to head on out, bring Eve to Katie's. We're going to be pop friends. Say hi. Thanks for taking care of our little puppy. Okay, so we just realized that what is it called? The Orange County. The Economic Orange County Recovery Task Economic Task Force. <laughs> Task Recovery Task Force. That starts at 10 a.m. and that is where Disney um, and also SeaWorld, Peter thinks, will be presenting their reopening plans. Um, I mean, you guys know how we feel. Like, obviously, we are missing Disney, but we also want it to be safe and enjoyable and magical. Um, but just to hear anything is a huge stride. Um, we're actually the most curious about how the resorts will be handled. It's not like Universal, where um, there's just a handful of resorts. Like, the resorts are very much so a part of Disney. So, well, the task force and that's in 15 minutes. The task force doesn't have to approve or deny anything. Right. And it is all up. It doesn't mean just the task force, if they approve it, that it's going to go through. It also has to be approved by the government, um, the governor. So we got 15 minutes and till showtime. Um, till showtime, yeah. Come on. They finally start the presentations. And who gets to go first? SeaWorld goes before Disney. The stress is building. I just want to, I just want to hear from Disney. We are running inside because it's starting to thunder and rain. But the gator is back right on the edge. I'll put a little arrow in if you can't see him. All right. Um, going out for a full mile run. It's not the smartest time. It's 1245 right now. But I figured because I haven't run in three days, only going for four miles, that going post a rain, so the humidity will actually, like, the condition will be worse. So even though I'm only going for four to save time, that it'll feel like more of a workout, like the like conditioning kind of thing. So... Time for a sweaty four mile run. The perfect example of Florida weather is now is a shining beautiful day. I will zoom in over there because there's another creature. Oh wait, there's a gator right there. See, like right there. And then over there, there is a turtle sunbathing. This is just a wildlife central. We also saw two cardinals today, a male and a female. And what else? There's been kind of a lot of spiders 
so yeah it's been really fun I feel like because of our location being a little further away um, from like the tourism or the city that there's a lot more like just wildlife out here I don't know is that the right word to use gators gators everywhere it's gotten much closer he's gotten even closer Oh, where the afternoon turned after that exciting alligator stunt. Um, I actually got a really bit of headache and fell asleep on the reclining chairs until dinner. So we scarfed on dinner. Um, I didn't cook it all, so I slept it all. So I cleaned, did the dishes, and loaded, loaded the dishwasher, cleaned all the big pots and pans. Now everybody's just chilling by the pool now that it's finally stopped raining because we didn't, I don't, unless Sarah took footage, it has been pouring like all afternoon. The We were so excited about the NASA launch today, the SpaceX, and NASA launch that was supposed to happen today got pushed back to Saturday um, was supposed to happen. They were all ready. Astronauts were in the rocket. Everything looked great, but then tornado warnings came through, storms came through, and they delayed it. So hoping, I, I have to look at the date, but I know it's a Saturday. I don't know if it's this Saturday, but if it is, and if the family has left at that point, maybe Sarah and I can drive out to a parking lot. The traditional openings, like viewing spots, aren't available during it, but anywhere closer, even if it's a parking lot, driving an hour closer to the, the coast would be amazing because it's history in the making. And you guys know from our, a few visits we've done to the Kennedy Space Center that we are astronaut and science and space buffs. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I came inside to grab the Alexa and I'm gonna head outside to get that set up for some music and just relax with the family. from this liquid pool to the pool table in the garage. It is late. It is. Actually, is it only 11.20? Yeah. Oh, it sounds late as I thought. Um, tiring day. The rest yeah, of the family went day. went to bed. Mm -hmm. So now that we're staying, we actually gained some time because we don't have to like drive back to our apartment for Sarah edit tonight. Yeah. I just don't have a little furry friend to play with while Sarah edits. Right. We did have a really yummy dinner on the grill. Um, what else have we done? We swam. Swam. We like kind of swapped Netflix shows that we like. <laughs> right now we were on somebody. We were showing everybody here. Somebody feeds Phil. Mm -hmm. um, Cause it's a gem. Check it out if you haven't. Yeah. We're super pumped for the new season that comes out Friday because he goes to Chicago in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So who knows how late we'll be up or what? But now we're just relaxing because we haven't yeah. been by each other all day. Yeah. That's something funny to like know about us, is that a lot of times, even since high school, when we go to like, when we interact with family, like a lot of the times we're like interacting in separate areas. Yeah, we and separate stuff. from each other. Yeah, but Literally, just like I feel like we haven't ground. been by each other all day. Yeah, but it's been a great one. Mm -hmm. Phil just went to Guinness, where they make all the Guinnesses, and it reminded me of one of our favorite times watching yeah, Illuminations. Cool. With the air hearts at Rosen Crown. Is this for real? Oh my. Is this ben, really Carolyn, this is the greatest thing you guys have ever done to me besides <laughs> introducing your family to me. <laughs> besides, besides being born. Yes. Besides being born. Look at this. This is a direct shot to Illuminations. This is my favorite thing. This is my black velvet, which is half cider, half Guinness. And it's super cool because it's like. It's connected and then it like slowly mixes together as you drink it. Watch, 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 watch. Me and Charlie were just getting mixed around. Mixed around. Look at it swirling and I also went on a full mile run today during the worst time of the day, but I'm hoping to go for six tomorrow and I actually have an idea of to show you. I have a route planned out and it's going to be interesting because we actually are in our old apartment neighborhood. So we'll see how I feel and we'll see how the weather is. Um, but if I go out for a six miler, I get to show you guys some things um, from our old neighborhood. Peter, we never talked about Disney. Disney World? Um, um, also, Disney Springs was chaos today. Well, I saw somebody tweet that, like, 
we didn't go today mm -hmm. and so i feel like we didn't experience same thing that happened with springs when it first opened in city walk where i saw somebody on our facebook group said like i i dipped in a couple hours later no wait for world of disney hmm. and it wasn't as bad but it did reach capacity at some point yeah so i don't interesting know. yeah let me we'll like stand up and selfie write for a good sign off and a good chat about the parks 1 15 in the morning Sarah's done it. Yep. It's going to pay off. It pays off during the daytime. Yeah. So that Sarah doesn't have to do anything. About it at all. And just she post can just it. hang out with the family. Yep. And so what are the dates for Disney's opening? July 11th for Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. July 15th for Epcot and Hollywood Studios. And then the dates. Masks are required. Um, later in June for Wilderness. So June 22nd is when it just says DVC Resort, so it might mean all of them. And Fort Wilderness Campgrounds and Resort and mm -hmm. Fort Wilderness are opening up June 15th. They didn't have a date for any of the other resorts. Right. And so we haven't received an email of our cancellation. June 22nd, Imagine, if, I, if I didn't say that right. Right. Imagine how many reservations are being canceled right now. Um, and ours was for June 15th. Um, so we're presuming they'll get canceled, which is what we want at this point. Yes, because that means that Disney will be more accommodating with our points, with our points. that we borrowed from the next use here. They can go back. Yes, um, and so that's great. And so we'll be able to figure that out. Vacation. And we don't know, you know, how we'll end up going. We do know that there will be reservations that annual pass holders will have to make to visit the parks. Um, but today is just like step one. We have five or five weeks now. Yeah. Like five or six weeks. Until it's just it good to know though. Yeah. There's so much uncertainty and I'm feeling for the cast members for real right now. Like yeah. it's, they're waiting the same way to restart their livelihood. Right. Get income again and, and everything. Um, we don't know how it's going to be. So who even knows who's going back? Um, so if you're a cast member out there. Okay. I'll play Mm-hmm. Sarah found. Home. Didn't you find a picture of the of the quotes? Oh yeah. Sarah found a picture because we forgot to bring the calendar with us. I just like screenshot yesterday's vlog. If you cannot do great things, do small things in a great way. Napoleon Hill. Yes. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.